let's check out the map of the Onondaga Passage. So basically, it's a seven mile out and back uh, trail, and it's part of the Palmetto Trail system, which goes throughout the whole state. This is starting at the Intercoastal Waterway at the Buck Hall Recreation Center. And I'm gonna go right around to mile six where it meets up with the Swamp Fox Passage. The reason why I'm doing this trail is because next week I'm doing a race. I'm doing the Last Chance Trail Run, which is an ultra marathon, but I'm only doing the half distance. I'm only doing 25K because I am training for a marathon. I don't wanna do a race that's longer than a marathon while I'm training for a marathon. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. I chose to do the Ondaw Passage as this kind of, you know, test run to get my footing sure for the next week's race uh, because it's just a beautiful looking uh, beautiful looking trail from what I can tell. I mean, you're starting at the Intercoastal Waterway, going up Onondaga Creek, you're going a little bit into some forested parts, and uh, I'm excited. Let's go check it out. So far, I'm loving what I see. Uh, I just got out here. Um, the little recreation area is perfect. Lots of picnic tables, restroom facilities. Um, it's just gorgeous out. I mean, this is perfect running weather. It's uh, just under 60 degrees, overcast. I love it. Let's, uh, let's get this run on. Here's the beginning of the Onondaga Passage Palmetto Trail Trailhead. Let's get this running started. What do you think? listening to a podcast and the interviewee commented about how he was walking during his interview because he said motion sparks emotion and as I'm listening to that and just looking at all this beauty around me um, it really resonated with me so, even if you're watching this and you don't run, go out there and move, go for a walk, take a bike ride, even go for a drive, but change your perspective. Get your brain working, get your endorphins going. Yeah, get out there and move. Just about at the halfway point of today's run. And so what I've learned so far from the various terrain changes on this trail is that when I get to a part like I'm at right now, where it's kind of flat, just pine straw, somewhat soft, those are the most dangerous parts of the trail because when it's rooty and technical, lots of turns, like right now I'm hitting some roots, I gotta keep my eyes and concentration on the trail. But when I trick myself into thinking, oh, you could take it easy and run a little faster, that's when I nearly tweak my ankles, um, 
I start to feel myself getting a little unstable. So, it's a good thing I've learned on this run, on this kind of trail, is to not get confident when it looks like the trail is getting easy. That's when I need to pay attention the most. All right, I'm almost there. All right, my phone says six miles. My watch says 6.5 miles. They're both confused because, well, the issue is I'm in the woods and the GPS signal can't get a lock. So I think I'm pretty much, between the two of these, sure I'm halfway through with my run. <sighs> Let's head back. Oh, but first, let's have a snack before we head back. That's all right, nutrition. Got some chews. All right, so I just heard a gunshot. It is hunting season. So I'm very grateful that I'm heading back towards the main part of the Allendale, Allendale Passage because the Swamp Fox Passage is uh, definitely in the middle of the forest and there's hunters out there i already ran over a couple of shotgun shells so yeah they're out there Simply gorgeous. My phone says I've only gone 11.85 miles, which is crazy because you saw where I turned around and now I'm at the beginning. My watch, on the other hand, says I've run exactly 13 miles. So today I'm gonna trust the watch. I'll double check it on the map. But I ran a half marathon today in the woods. So go me. Here comes the finish. So let's take a look. Oh, let's take the long way. Holy cow, my legs are tired. What a different workout than what I'm used to. I enjoyed that. And I'm glad I did it because it's gonna give me a lot of insight into next week's race. No expectations to get any placement or anything next week. I'm just gonna try to finish respectably because my legs are tired. Whew. Let's go home.